DK Pant, Chief Economist and Senior Director at India Ratings and Research, now joins us live. Uh, Mr. Pant, could you just first start by telling us that what do you make of uh, the Seventh Pay Commission, which got approved yesterday, and how will it boost the consumption in the economy? Any numbers that you can give us? Uh, yes. Uh, if you look at uh, the Seventh Pay Commission, the, initially when the report came, it was talking about one lakh two thousand crore kind of payout. Uh, but what has been approved uh, is announced by the government yesterday, something around 88,000 crores. And the allowances, there is no, no unanimity as of now. So another committee will look into this. And, and uh, uh, based on that, the, the allowances revision will take place. So this is in brief about the pay commission, what has been recommended. Now, if you look in the economy, our consumption, private final consumption expenditure remains somewhere around 58 to 60 percent of the of the of the GDP, and uh, so what we are looking at, we are looking at something somewhere closer closer to 45,000 crore worth of consumption boost to the economy by by the seventh central pay commission. Uh, now, what will happen is, is after this, when the state, now the center has announced or accepted it, each and every state will form their own committees and the salaries of state government employees will be revised. Now, barring two states, where the Karnataka and other state is Kerala, where they don't follow the same pattern, there is a gap between, between their own pay commission and their pay reward, uh, and central government pay reward. Post that, you will have the salaries of the central PSU, state PSUs, autonomous organization, urban local bodies, universities, college. So actual impact of the seventh pay commission on the consumption will take at least another year, year and a half. By that time, we will have full impact of the pay commission or the salary division of public sector employees or the government employees on the economy. So just only from the, from the Central Pay Commission, we are expecting a boost to the consumption of the order of around 45,000 crores. Right. Uh, as far as, uh, you know, India Ratings report, uh, which says that they do not see an immediate threat to the inflation, any numbers that you have worked out will inflation broadly remain at the similar levels? Look, I, when we are talking about inflation, we should look at both the indicator WPA and CPI separately. Now, if I look at, we are looking at, say, say the WPI. Now, we had seen in the last two months, there's a positive WPA inflation. And what is the source of that? It is mainly the food products, pulses, etc. So, with the pay commission hike or increase in salary, it is unlikely that the pulses demand will go up dramatically. All right. Now, what... In the past, we had seen post-pay commission salary revision. You will see the, the consumer durable goods product uh, uh, demand going up. So you will have uh, um, uh, like the car sale, auto sale, fridge, television, air conditioner, they sale going up. Now, if I look at in totality how the manufacturing inflation is playing out, the manufacturing inflation is still in the negative territory, number one. The second, if you look at the system-wide capacity utilization, those cap capacity utilization are still at 75%. So what it will get, do, this, will, this has possibility that it will revive the demand and because of that, the, 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 the capacity utilization of the manufacturing sector will move up. So we are not expecting any, any significant increase in the WPI inflation. We haven't worked out or estimated those numbers as of now. Now coming to the uh, coming to the CPI inflation, in the CPI inflation in the month of in the reading for the June we may see we will see CPI inflation trending upward, and that is mainly because of the service tax which is increased from 14.5 percent to 15 percent because that becomes a part of the CPI inflation. There also again if we look the 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 the, the component which are growing faster or which are leading to to the CPI inflation in uh, above 5% range, they are mainly, again, the food side and from the services side. So there will be some impact, there will be some impact, but the chances of it go leading to inflation going beyond control or beyond the limit of RBA's comfort zone, our chances are low. Month on month, there may be some up and down fluctuation, 
but the chances of this going beyond uh, beyond the comfort zone of RBI are pretty low. Sir, uh, have you made any estimate uh, based on the past uh, cycle of, uh, as you pointed out, a very interesting thing, an important thing, I would say, that other than the, the Central Pay Commission, then there will be the State Pay Commission, UGC, uh, etc., college teachers, school teachers, all that of them will follow. Uh, from past history, have you made any estimate that how long that cycle takes and what kind of a multiplier effect it has on the GDP? Look, uh, this will uh, generally, as I said earlier, it takes the full impact takes around around one and a half to two year, because the now the states will follow and they will have their own committees, yeah. and and then they will revise the salaries. So it is it is it is say I'll give you the example from the sixth pay commission. Uh, pay commission, the report came out in in two thousand eight, and its impact on state fiscal was was witnessed in. 2009-10 and 10-11, so roughly around around two years. Now there was a situation. Why this two year? Because last year, if we see, uh, see last pay commission, uh, gap between the effective date and the announcement of award was 36 months. Yeah, so there was a huge now in the 36 of areas months, there were huge amount of areas, and if those areas are paid at one go by the central government or state government, their finances would have gone haywire. So the, the 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 award or whatever the benefit uh, uh, areas be, areas benefit was spread over two years. In this case, the award between effective date and the award date, the gap is only six months. Mm. So there will not be huge amount of areas. So it will be there in the one year. Only. But even then, Another have you made any is, kind of an estimate, as you said, that out of the one of lakh the crore, of, so 45, 000, 45 to 50,000 crores, you're saying, will go into consumption yeah. based on the private final consumption. Have you made any estimate as to over a two-year period, how much additional money will be right. in, in, in will go into consumption? Uh, Generally, generally, if you look, uh, the total impact on the on the economy is four times of what the central government award is. Okay. So, if you are looking at one lakh translating to four lakh, and by rule of thumb, it will it will uh, be somewhere around two point two five to two and a half lakh crore kind of consumption boost to the economy in a in a, in 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 in, in uh, say span of. FY17 and 18. So every year a 1% boost in consumption uh, in terms of uh, GDP at current prices. Yep. Yes. All right. So uh, thank you so much. We would like to discuss this in more detail again sometime, but we are running out of time. Thanks a lot for taking out time uh, for us.